Good day, everybody, and welcome to the, another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Well, welcome to the program today, and I uh, felt like I needed to touch on the Southport atrocity. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for you an excerpt of a local uh, TV station in the United Kingdom talking about this incident. And I'm going to add some commentary here shortly. So uh, here we go. The papers are absolutely chock full of that horrendous, horrendous uh, story from yesterday. Two children killed uh, in a holiday club uh, just because they wanted to go to a yoga and dance meeting. It was all young girls uh, under the age of 12, between the ages of 6 and 12, killed uh, by a 17-year-old maniac who appears to have come to this country, or whose parents appear to have come to this country from Rwanda. Uh all right, pause there. We don't believe that this quote-unquote maniac was 17 years old. What we are hearing is, in fact, he is older than that. And the reason that they are saying they, the authorities in Southport, in the United Kingdom, are saying that he is only 17 is to prevent the people in the United Kingdom to seeing from where he's from. He's a quote-unquote immigrant, part of this immigrant invasion that is bringing an unprecedented crime spree into the United Kingdom, killing people, thousands of people per year are being raped, murdered, and or injured by these individuals. And your government in the United Kingdom, in England, in Britain, will not tell you the truth. 17 years old. Right. 17 years old because then they don't have to display his picture. At what point, at what point is the citizenry of the United Kingdom going to rise up and end this. Get rid of them. Have a good day.